Hello there, namaste, the Primal Hunter book four, and I am really powering through these things. So this book kind of feels like an in-between of serious events, even though it, it does have a story to tell, it does progress the story a lot, because it's tr clear that they're trying to have a fight between like the two most powerful beings on Earth, Jake and then the old swordsman. And it's just like, yeah, it's obvious that that's what the next book is, but they basically are like, okay, we introduced this dungeon in the previous book, in book three, Let's make it about where he goes through that. Let's have it about the the world uh, the world congress. I think it was called, and also the the little chick, the little silphy chick. And I gotta say, I kind of wish I, I like it when they go off and do like the other characters' perspectives, kind of like that when they did with like a uh, Casper in his relationship. The fact that his relationship and things like that, I enjoy it when they do that. I wish they had more of it with the little baby bird because every time it just it just felt so it was like you were with the little kid and I was like I'm okay with that I don't mind that it feels very you know wholesome it felt wholesome so I like that with the little bird you know going in there it's it's mind and like him talking about his uncle Jake uh, his parents his mom and dad all that stuff I enjoyed it that's the stuff I really enjoyed it's clear that they were trying to push for uh, the, the, the duel between the two strongest. That's what the next book is, of course, going to be on. But it, it is nice seeing how the world flushes out more. Because people have innate potential. I mean, there is that. Like, there are people in life who will, will never go past flipping burgers. And there's nothing wrong with that. There are people who just, sometimes that's just what they're called to do. I mean, heck, it, it's... It, <laughs> There's never been anything wrong. I've worked in fast food. I've worked in retail. I've worked as just driving a, a, an, a forklift operator. It, it, there's nothing wrong with those kinds of tasks. So it's like uh, people learning to understand and it's like the main character is trying to strive to be more. And it's interesting how uh, it seems like a lot of these characters in lit RPGs and I, it's easy to say. I mean, there's a reason why like the astral charts and things like that where whatever said everyone can identify it was like oh this this star i identify with it was the, st the star i was born under i it completely because they're always general but it, it is interesting going through and i was like yeah that is something i would do jake over not over analyzing things but being logical about why was i talking with this person oh i've noticed this about this person but i will never go any further with it because well there's nothing really there. It's a friendship, but that's about it. And it's like, it's like, yeah, you, you don't want to go past certain things. And I'm like, yeah, I, I like seeing that. I like knowing there's like, maybe if that ever happened, I would have a decent bloodline, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing, that kind of thing. But I got to say, I do enjoy it. I, I, this series, even though this one kind of felt like an in-between because they're tr really trying to push for the the fight between them both but you they hinted at the end of book three and in this one they show it because they meet for the first time and it's like yeah we'll, we'll, we'll fight but there's just so much going on so much going on because i felt that like uh sylphie was gonna be like a, a a hint at his at uh uh the 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 maleficent viper his like the reason why he disappeared for eons but apparently he just wanted to get access to like some soul information so there was a reason so i was like oh okay maybe i missed it on the book three but he saw an opportunity to get another primordial to do something knowing jake would compete against it to where he would get some information on the soul so that way well he's apparently trying to figure something out so it, it is interesting because it's like there's this mystery going on behind the scenes which i don't think is evil i think it's just supposed to be interesting and we're gonna tr it's, it's trying to connect the pieces and be like oh we should have seen that i'm kind of hoping that it's seeded throughout all the flashbacks since we're starting to get uh his flashbacks through jake's story and his new uh heretic or not it's not heretic is it yeah, the her heretical chosen. It's just, I find that interesting. It is funny how he's both friends with the god he is a chosen of and a heretic of the god he's a chosen of. 
he's seen as an equal and all other gods basically view him as such because the one most powerful being sees him as a friend so everyone else kind of falls in line give or take but I gotta say, I am enjoying this series. Gotta continue on to three. I wanna see them both compete. Of course, Jake is most likely gonna win, but that one creep doctor who apparently likes killing people just to resurrect them with their his personal light inside of them, that, that's gonna be uh, interesting because even Jake in the this book was like he could not win against him. And I'm thinking that he is the chosen. That's, that's the chosen of the... Um, the, the, the one that wanted to fight, the, the young god who's crazy and wanted to fight him. I'm thinking that's the case. I'm thinking that's his chosen. The one that Jake was like, yeah, I wouldn't win in a fight against him, even though he's a, a lower tier. But that's just because he has probably thousands upon millions of, well, brain dead slaves because he resurrects the body and basically puts himself inside it sounds wrong when you actually say it aloud but yeah i'm thinking that's it he just has a flood of a horde of people which are just basically zombies but yeah yeah i'm enjoying the series gotta definitely continue it it is uh I, I, I am both upset that it took me so long to get into it and glad it took me so long to get into it. It's funny i'm gonna be getting so far in and then someone's probably gonna tell me that it's already done or, or the the author stopped because that's what pissed me off with like dungeon lord it was like i got into it and it's like oh the the, the authors stopped doing <laughs> yeah these but yeah yeah it's finally continued but yeah yeah hopefully hopefully he continues hopefully he finds an end to it um because i i kind of hope that he jake does fight uh the Maleficent Viper. I'm kind of hoping, like as a competition, not to to just to see if they can fight. Cause you know what, that that is what he wants to do. He wants to get to that point. Thank you all for watching. Talk to you next time. Doodles.